love this store so much. I can't wait to learn more in sewing. But I'm here for a specific item. I'm getting sidetracked. episode of my business diaries this is literally so overdue for me like y'all i'm turning 19 on sunday i'm tired of not doing what i say i want to do basically like i'm tired of saying oh i want to be living in a high rise i want to be making at least 500,000 a year like i want my business i want my business to be booming i want this i want that i want this i want that i want this i want that but i'm scrolling social media all day but my screen time 18 hours and i'm not even exaggerating it's like i have so many dreams i have so many goals that i want to accomplish but it's like babe you're not gonna accomplish it if you're not doing anything 2022 i decided that i wanted to start a business my parents they bought me this embroidery machine mind y'all this embroidery machine was like what five thousand dollars and i'm still about to figure out what i'm about to do with it but my parents bought me this embroidery machine i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna start an embroidery business embroidery jackets hoodies so on and so forth okay cool i found some jackets i got 30 black jackets in my closet as we speak and they've been in there since april of 2022 so i get everything that i need to start my business I have my website done. I have my photo shoot done, my product placement, everything. I had everything done. And as I was about to launch it, I was like, mm, actually, I don't want to do this anymore. Actually, I want to change up everything. I literally had everything. Like, I could have launched my business. As I talk to people, people always say, like, you should have just launched your business and then just changed it as you went on but no you're gonna restart the whole thing i don't even remember what's in the boxes them boxes have been sitting in my closet for so freaking long because i know that the bottom if a spider came out of these boxes right now i would like not be surprised at all i would be scared but i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> all right let's do a haul of everything that i got from my business was this ever open so the first thing that i had bought was a label printer what is this oh poly mailers and lip rollers these are the packing slips for the label printer was this necessary this is a clear clothing bag oh i remember what i was gonna do with this as y'all see over there there's a shelf I have a shelf over there because once I was going to start my business, of course I was going to have the shelves labeled small, medium, large. But yeah, so that's everything I bought. I really don't know what I'm missing if I'm being honest. I feel like when I start my business or when I get close to starting my business, I'll buy more. But as of right now, this is really all that I need. I want to learn how to sew. I feel like that would one, be great marketing if I'm making my own clothes. Two, I feel like everything that I want to come to life and my vision can come to life in my vision because I'm making it myself. I'm like, I have hopes and dreams and prayers of sewing everything together myself. So I'm like, I need to teach myself how to sew. But as of right now, like we're still in beginning stages and I'm still teaching myself how to sew. So my first garment slash thing that I made is this bag, y'all. Look at my bag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There is a lot of imperfections in this project. So I am probably gonna do this bag three times before I move on to my next thing, which is what she told me to do. I have a sewing course by Evelyn Wood and the sewing course is literally so good. She literally teaches you everything. And yeah, so I've been paying $20 a month for about, that was for six months, I've been paying $20 a month. And I say I honestly used it like two months out of that six. And I probably use it only like three days out of those three months. <laughs> I'm 
So not too long ago, I went to Joanne's and I got fabric. I have a lot of fabric because I kept buying the wrong fabric. So I have three different fabric types, but I'm gonna just use this one because when I was at the store, they didn't have four yards of this. They only had like two and a half. So this is like two and a half yards of fabric. So I'm just like, give it to me. I'll figure out what to do with it. But let me show you guys my other fabrics. These are just quilting fabrics, which is good for beginners because your fabric shouldn't stretch and your fabric should be easy to sew through. The fabric is literally so cute. And then I have this one. Like what? That's so stinking cute. And lastly, I have this one. I can't wait. But I'm gonna do Panda again because I'm not gonna waste these fabrics. You can hear that switch, but you can hear them niggas scream. All my hoes do strong, nigga. All my hoes do coke. 20 carat ring, I put my fingers down her throat. If I lose a carrot, she might choke. I know she gon' swallow, she'll go. Three bad niggas bring them rats in. Cap shooters in the corner, light a pack in. That's that shit that gets you put up at the station. Okay, so now she just told me to sew the straps together at a 5 eighths seam allowance. So her sewing machine has numbers on it. Mine's does not. Like the plate has nothing on it. So I don't know which line is 5 eighths. And I'm looking at the seam guide and I'm like, well, okay, 5 eighths, 5 eighths, 5 eighths, where are you? <laughs> like... What are we talking about right now? <laughs> now it's time to sew these together. So what she just told me to do is to face the right sides and towards each other. The fashion, the beautiful, pretty side of your fabric together and then the wrong sides on the outside. And what we'll do is we'll sew down each end at 1.5 to 5 eighths seam allowance. I'm gonna say it's the third line, so we're gonna sew this together. Okay. Always make sure it's on the line. I love how I'm giving all this tutorial. Like I'm just the best sewer out there. Always make sure it lines up with the line. And just try to follow the line. Always reverse stitch to lock everything in. Get it? I'm just amazing. 